Well, 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 the title race takes another twist on the turn. Full time this weekend from the Etihad, Anfield and at the Emirates. Of course, yesterday it had finished Manchester City 5, Luton Town 1. And today at Anfield, Liverpool nil, Crystal Palace 1. And at the Emirates just a couple of minutes ago, Arsenal nil, Aston Villa 2. Oh my God. Right, I'm going to get straight into it. My thoughts on the... I'm going to start off with the City game. Yes. And now and now you're wondering, Cody, why are you commenting on the Man City game, Cody? You're going to say City battered them, obviously. Well, technically, I was at the Bolton game yesterday. Bolton-Portsmouth game. I mean, I haven't checked, that, checked out that video, but uploaded it earlier. So you can check that out. Um, but I asked Zach, um, my mate, obviously, his thought, he, he said City absolutely demolished him. And I mean... The scoreline says we battered them. To, to be honest with you, right? To be honest, Lu Luton, to be fair, in December, they gave us an early scare at Kenilworth Road. And I mean, we absolutely demolished them in the FA Cup, by the way. Um, um, Verling Haaland getting five goals. And I'll, and I'll tell you, and I'll tell you, and I'll tell you what, City, right, this season, we really have not got going at all. However, over the last few weeks... Um, we have really got our shooting boots going. Because... Say we beat Villa 4-1 in midweek... Um, beat beat Palace four two, and then beat Luton five one. Um, have we got the boots? Now, have we got confidence now at the right time? Of course, we drew three all with Real Madrid in the week. Um, in the Champions League, of course, I did did, did I did do a video on that as well. To be honest, I'm happy with our win. I'm really happy with that we won because, say we we to be fair that we have done well against promote uh, all the promoting teams. Saying that saying that no Sheffield United saying that no Sheffield United to be fair in Bramall Lane in late August early uh, September they did give us such a scare, a really scare until like the 87th minute. Um, when Jane and Bogle of all team people had to score, and then obviously Rodri scored the winner. Um, but Burnley, yeah, we absolutely battered them, um, convincingly six like six nil on aggregate, something like that. Because if we won three nil at the Etihad, I think, and then obviously we won three nil on the opening day, opening day at Turf Moor. But Luton, dear me, at Kenilworth Road in December. But saying that though, Luton, Luton, Luton. To be fair, this season they have really made a name of themselves. They really have because even if even say like, um, say when they play all the big six at home, right? They only lose by a narrow margin. I say particularly with the big three, like us, Liverpool, and Arsenal game, they only lost narrowly. Well, well, not City and Arsenal. Arsenal heartbreakingly lost four three. City lost two one, and obviously Liverpool they drew, which was absolutely fantastic result that was back in the day, or back in November actually, when we were actually last fully top of the league, top top of the league before we kept dropping points. Um, now, I'm not gonna question us here, but. I'm still have doubts that we'd go and win that or win it. However, however, if you look at our if you look at our running right, the only two tough games I can see us having a bit of a bad spell are against um, West Ham and Spurs. Well, West Ham have been dropping off recently, haven't they? But Spurs, yeah, we don't have a good record against Spurs, don't we? In the league, apart from the FA Cup win earlier in January when we won one nil, but we drew three all with them in the league, so. Yeah, um, but saying that Fulham made an easy game, Craven, Co Craven Cottage. Um, I 
I don't know who I don't know who else we got. Oh, Brighton, Brighton, yeah, Bri we got Brighton as well. Um, Brighton, Brighton in a couple in in a couple of weeks at the Amex, which is which still is a tough game, no matter where Brighton are in the league. Um, even though Brighton have been quite underperforming this year, but saying that though, they have been playing Europa League football and they still have the small squad, uh, st not a good depth. But I mean, like they their players have been out naturally, like Matoma and then what? Been out really most of the season. Um, but I, I, I think the game that I can still somehow see us slipping up is is against Spurs. Against Spurs. And we've got Wolves as well. Wolves ain't a walkover as well. Because you got to remember in September, they beat us at Molyneux. you got to remember that as well. They beat us at Molyneux in September. Um, 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 yeah, I do think that... I do think City, to be fair, though, we do have kind of have an easy run in. But saying that, no, I think Fulham... Spurs, Brighton, West Ham are all tucked. Fulham, even though they're mid-table, right? But Fulham, no. Fulham, like, they, they they always know. play. They, they play well against good teams. They always play well against the big teams, Fulham. Fulham. Um, and they're a good side. And they're a really good side as well, Fulham. But, but yeah, coming to this, back to the City game to, yesterday, I'm really happy that we won. Haaland got a goal. Doku got a goal. Kovacic got a goal. Um, but I seen the video of the bicycle kick that Arlen tried to do, but it came off the Luton defender. That was oh, I hate when them sort of goals happen. <laughs> it's a shame, but yeah. Um, and that's enough about the City game. Now let's talk about the Liverpool Liverpool nil Palace one. And by the way, and by the way. I never, I think, I, I couldn't believe, right, what I've seen. Because, obviously, we all know, have you seen my YouTube short um, on Thursday? Obviously, Liverpool lost 3-0 to Atalanta in the Europa League on Thursday, which I'm buzzing about. But I'm more buzzing about today. Liverpool, the amount of chances they had in the game was absolutely nothing to bond. At... I'll tell you what, right? Palace, they deserve. Palace deserved the win, right? Now you're gonna come at me. Liverpool should have won. Liverpool should have won, right? But Palace, Palace were very good today. They were unbelievable today. Eze was good. Mateta was good, but he just cannot score for his life, man. <laughs> but he somehow scored against us last week. Um, Joachim Anderson, Tarek Mitchell, Dean Henderson, the hand of goat. Absolutely unbelievable performance from Palace today. And Oliver Glasner, in my opinion, got his tactics right. Um, Palace, the thing is with Palace, right, even though they've been very, I'd say been poor, really, for their standards all season, right, but I mean, getting points from City and Liverpool. So you got. Oh, no, I know they lost. We. I know we beat them last week. And obviously Liverpool drew out. Drew out Old Trafford. Obviously, I was going to do a video on that game, on them all the games, but I just didn't do it because yeah, I just didn't have the motivation. Uh, to be fair, Liverpool last week at United at United, right? I thought, right? I said to my dad. When they're running, showing the fixtures, I said either United, Spurs, or Everton in the Merseyside derby, they'll slip up. But I never thought they'd slip up today. No chance. But Palace with a defensive unit, absolutely brick wall. Joachim Anderson at the back. Honestly, he's so underrated. And I'll tell you what. How how did Palace not win 2-0? Is blind... Is beyond amazing. Um, Liverpool, the amount of chances they had, but honestly, right, I just cannot believe how did Liverpool not win? How did Liverpool not won today? It's, it's mental to think. And I, to be honest with you, as Jamie Carragher said on commentary, 
with Seth Hutchinson. He said he mentioned about Liverpool just like what what Arsenal were around this time last year. They ran out of steam, and Liverpool are running out of steam. In my, I just I I just don't think they I don't think they're running out of steam, right? I don't think I don't think they're running out of steam, but I just don't think they've been playing well at all. To be honest with you, right? I I think now teams are caught them out now at Anfield because I feel like the pressure's very on Liverpool now because, but Liverpool shouldn't be under pressure. But 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 however, Klopp Klopp has done it before. Yes, I know a lot of the title races between Liverpool and City. City have came out on top, right? But Liverpool, to be fair, they have given us such a good, great title race. Title races, though, you can't deny that. Yeah, okay. Last season, Liverpool weren't anywhere near the title race, right? So exclude last season. Say from the year before. No, say say from the year before onwards, backwards, right to eighteen, twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. That is when the golden era of City Liverpool, right? I feel like what killed Liverpool last year, no, the year before in a title race, I feel like it was in City's hands anyway. However, though, they, they won the League Cup, they won the FA Cup. That year, of course. I did a video on the FA Cup final that year between Liverpool and Chelsea. So, if you haven't checked that one out. Um, please. Yeah. L of course, Liverpool... Obviously... Um, lost the Champions League final to Real Madrid. Um, but I feel like with them being in the... I feel like with that year, they, with all the, the talks about the quadruple, really killed them because... There was no chance of them doing that. Well, the league, probably not, but the Champions League, there was probably a big chance because they were playing against Real Madrid, who did not cause out. But but coming to back to today, Palace were just unbelievably good. Um, even Tarrant, even Jeffrey Schlupp, since he came on, since he came on, he was brilliant. Alise was good as well. But of course, Abirieze, Abirieze obviously got the winner for Palace. And I don't even know where. I'm sure. I don't even know where was the last league when Anfield. I don't even know, but it's got. It has to be a long time. But yeah, that was great. And now Arsenal nil, Villa two. This game genuinely reminded me of the Arsenal Brighton game last year, when obviously Brighton came to the Emirates and they won, battered Arsenal three nil, um, where. Estepinian scored, Intiso scored, and Dennis Undav scored. Now, also, are they having the same problems as last year? Crumbling under the pressure? In my opinion, yes. However, they can still win Champions League as well. you got remember, well, they're still in the Champions League, Arsenal. They're still in the Champions League. And obviously, they've got Bayern on Wednesday. If they get to the semis of that, I feel like if they're out of the title race, they just now got to go full out on the Champions League. Well, real realistically, the league's probably the only realistic trophy that Arsenal can win. Really, realistically. Because... But, I mean, the Champions League, they can still do it. But, I mean, they still got to play that Bayern, even one of Real, Real or us. But saying that, though, if they play us, right, I think that would be a good result. That would be good for Arsenal because they know how to play against City. Because they beat us. It's, I know they beat us in the Community Shield in our, earlier in the season, right? But they beat us at the Emirates and they drew with us a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago. And I generally thought around that... I generally said that day. I generally thought Liverpool would have won, got gained the momentum and win the league. But now I, now I think, for the first time... I, in months, I can say I think we're the favourites now for the league. For the league. For the league. Because we're in pole position. We've got a better run in. We've got the experience as well to do it. However, what could kill us? The high talks about a double treble. Of course, you got to remember as well, guys. City won the treble last year. We're the treble winners. Or the... 
sex tuple winners, right? Because what I don't mean it in a weird way, by the way. I just say that because of us winning five trophies last year, with us winning the the league, FA Cup, Champions League, Super Cup, and the Club World Cup. I can't. I don't know what. I don't know how you say it, quintuple or whatever. Uh, <laughs> quintuple. That's about right. But if City win the treble again, we generally become the first ever English team or ever team in the world of football or European football to win the treble in back to back seasons. I don't think anyone's done it before. I don't think anyone has won a treble back to back. That includes the Champions League, like their, their league, their domestic cup, like their big cups, so like the F, the FA Cup, for example, or and the Champions League. If we win all three trophies again, that'd be a miracle. Um, but I do think we're the favourites now to win the league. But the big question is. For Aston Villa's sake, are they will they are they in, in a strong position now to claim a Champions League spot in the top four? I don't know because Spurs. The thing is for Spurs, I know they got absolutely demolished yesterday. By the way, at Newcastle, right? But I feel like with Spurs, I could just still see them pulling it out from somewhere. I feel like in one of the games they have with us, Liverpool and Arsenal, they will gain a load of points from. I don't know if if they'll get six out of nine. Say they get two wins against Arsenal and Liverpool, but lose to City, or beat Arsenal and City, no, Liverpool and City, but lose to North London Derby, or gain points from Arsenal, no, Liverpool and Liverpool and Arsenal. Or no, no say like, say like, if we beat Spurs and then Arsenal. And beat them, and then they draw lose at Anfield, or no, and they get a draw at Anfield as well. But, but for, for yeah, but I thought Aston Villa were absolutely terrific today as well. Arsenal, oh, what's going wrong, lads? But yeah, comment down below. But yeah, comment down below, guys. Who do you think is going to win the league? In my opinion, I think it's going to be City now. I think we're in a strong position. Got the better running. I think we've got the better running. In my opinion. And I think we'll gain more points than Liverpool and Arsenal. But hopefully in the next week or so, because with us being in the FA Cup and we don't play a league game, and obviously Liverpool and Arsenal do play next week, Liverpool got to go to Craven Cottage, but Arsenal got a tricky away test at Wolves, who aren't an easy opponent. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video here, and love, peace and techers.